It's lovely. The way I look at it is I remember that bird and you think, I'm happy about that. Down, down the bottom, like they, you stand there and you're literally on the cliff and they come across you in this gully and then they fly back the other way on the part. That's mental, isn't it? So we're here today at the Applewood Shoot in Saddleworth. I've been lucky enough to shoot this for about four years in a row now, thanks to the Jack Five Boys. Um, it's a 300 bird day, uh, the weather's not with us, but that doesn't matter, that's all part of the day. Uh, really looking forward to it, and so are the rest of the guys and the girls. I'm sure James and Keith are going to put on a brilliant day as always, and yeah, really looking forward to it. Now, a couple of bounty birds that you may see, a couple of Reeves cock pheasants and a couple of American turkeys. And what we do, we raise a little bit of money for the air ambulance. Whoever shoots the bounty bird doesn't pay, the rest put tenner a piece into the air ambulance to get it. Uh, if you shoot at it and miss, it's a 50 quid fine. And if it's a good enough bird and you don't shoot a 50 quid first, no <laughs> This is our first drive of the day off the top of the hill. It's quite an extreme drive. Uh, we haven't got a name for this drive yet. It's been something we've been testing. At the moment, it's known as the extreme drive. So if you guys would like to comment on the video and give us some name suggestions, I'm gonna look through and pick a name for it. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, proper yeah. proper extreme birds. I mean, some of them birds you you wouldn't even shoot them with a can of mate. They were that high coming out of the back there. I'll see, see you putting that on video. Yeah, I can see you uh, yeah, filming that and yeah. you hit that end and you went a long way for even class. It's, it's amazing how you, and you think you're missing them, but then when you're looking behind, because there's so many birds coming, yeah. you're not concentrating on the ones you're actually shooting, but I like to try and yeah. see the ones I have here. And you're watching them drop miles yeah, back, yeah, so like you are hitting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah be, I bet they'll be 80 yard up then, you know? Yeah, if not higher. I mean, it's some of them some were of them, that, that hen bird eight, up there, untouchable, mate, when they some of them birds. I mean, I dread to think how many birds we had come over us. I dread yeah. to think, but um, it was an amazing drive, mate, and oh, you always put on a good show. Yeah, no, thank always, you. Always, mate, always. Thank you. Right, we'll push on. Stratus Ferry, oh, yeah. though, aren't they? Did you see that one come out of side? Yeah. We'll just keep going and going, and, she, and she's going, is that, is that a pheasant? I went, yeah, definitely a hen bird. It was just going up and up yeah. and up. You'd never hit it, not a million years. I mean, they come off the top of those hills up, up there, and when you're, you're down in the valley, yes. it's, 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 it's amazing. When they hit the wind as well, going yeah. so fast. And especially when they lock up on the wings as well. Totally different shot when they're flapping at you, isn't it? Do you know I mean? when they're coming at you? But um, partridge next, mate, so hopefully we can oh, shoot a few of them, can't we? Yeah, that'd be so flying. So we go from there. But it's not, I said to her, like when you come here as well, it's, it's 
but it gets better and better and better, doesn't it? You never kind of think, oh, I'm back here again. You actually, it's a different scenery every time, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Colors, different colours. It is. Diff slightly different yeah. time of the year. It's, That's what's it's nice about it, mate. Fantastic place to come. It and is. The, the, the scenery. It is. The vistas. And it's good shooting you, sexy and the, lot, and, the, and the people. <laughs> and, the, and the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of side yeah, and mm. and it's been hit three times. Yeah. you know, and I think well, it's mad. It's there was a hembo that kind of I, I'd hit it hard, nice high one here, and it went the other side of the reservoir wall and dropped. And that hembo just went straight. I shouted to James. It just, it, it's amazing how far they go. So what do you have to do in the morning to get ready for a seat day then, James? First thing, usually wake up with a bag of nerves, wake up early, then I start studying the weather, I start looking at the wind speed, the direction, then I start scratching my head looking at what drives will work and what won't. Uh, usually get back to, to here quite early. Then next thing, go to the chiller, get all champagne out, get the beers, I'll put them in the fridge, make sure the glasses are all clean, put them in. And sit down on the diary work and just go through who I've got picking up in the day, sort everyone's wages out. And then the, the, my brother and Vinny, they'll they'll come round as well, and then we start discussing what drives will do, who's going where, who's standing where, where we're getting the pickers up. So it take me two hours to be ready for a shoot day in the morning. Just 
organising and getting the logistics right so it flows smoothly. How many pick wrappers and beaters do you have here? Today, today we're running, I think we've got eight pickers up out, a minimum of five, six dogs each. Uh, beaters, today we've 16, two drivers. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few uh, Quite a few varied ages. We've got a lot of 15 to 16 year olds that are out of school today, but well, obviously it's Saturday. So we try and encourage them because they can run up their mills and give the older older ones a bit of a rest. Uh, Midweeks, though, to be fair, we have a lot of a lot of guys that have like retired, and then we try and find a few fit people in between. But on the weekend, you'll see today there's a lot of a lot of young uns. We keep pushing and keeping them interested. They work pretty hard out there, don't yeah. they? Yeah. How many steps? Do you know how many steps they do? I yet? think they've been average. I think an average day there's eight or nine miles will cover. Uh, on the pheasants, and then on the grouse, when we do the grouse days, it could be 12 to 15 mile. Uh, yeah, I don't know the steps exactly, but there they will be quite a lot of because it's rough ground as well, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, no, we've had a really good day, thanks, mate. It's been another shot flight. Yeah, shot a few. Not shot the best today, but like I say, the wind and the rain's <laughs> Not pushed in. Yourself, and have you no, today? I haven't, mate, but the birds are flying really well once it's again. It's been good, haven't they? Yeah, it's been a good show, mate, it really has. And I say, Shannon had a few shots earlier, she enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, definitely. There's some of the highest birds I've ever seen, really. So it's been. Testing Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, um, it's good to see it. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, definitely. Well, next time you can bring your own gun, can't you? Yeah, mate. So you yeah, have yeah, a go. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you're Thank you, my heart, yeah. yeah, you're playing the show to the day. But no, it's always yeah. a blinding day, mate. And like I say, you guys work hard and yeah. produce, a, produce a good day. So the we look forward to next time. They work so hard. Like, I'm so impressed with what they do. Like, yeah. They're like, like mountain goats, aren't they? Yeah. They're like mountain goats. I wouldn't want to do it. Get up there, get up there. Get up there. And they sat down and was like, you know, time to sit down, keep yeah, going. Yeah, definitely. But no, every drive's blind, mate. You never have a bad drive. So yeah, appreciate it, mate. Really do. Cheers, James. Thank you.